Welcome to this tutorial on how to duplicate a website. If someone in your grade level does not have a website and they're far away from you and you can't sit elbow to elbow with them and walk them through the process of designing a website of their own, you can actually share with them a copy of your website and then they can tweak and edit that so that they only do some of the work to create a fantastic website instead of all of the work. So let's pretend that this is your website. Um, this is a sample website I use for teaching purposes. It is very wanting and lacking a lot of pizzazz. If you're unfamiliar with how to design a website, then my recommendation is to come up to the waffle and then you should be able to scroll down and locate sites in here. Your other option to get started from scratch instead of sharing is to come over here and then you can just create a brand new website here inside of Google Drive. That's a different tutorial altogether. Right now, let's pretend that you have one and you want to share one with someone. Right now, I'm going to scoot back over here to my sample website. I'm going to right click on top of this website that I have inside Google Drive. When you right click on this item, then you can come down to make a copy. In just a short period of time, Google will go through the process of creating an exact duplicate of that website for you, and it will be named copy of followed by whatever title you gave that previous website. From here, when that copy appears, you are going to right click on top of that copy and then you have the capacity to share it. So I wouldn't share your website directly with that colleague. Uh, I would make sure that you share a copy of your original website with them. So here's the copy that was generated. I went up here to locate it so I wouldn't distract you with all my other resources. Uh, and I can share this copy with a colleague. So now that I've made a copy of my website so nobody damages my original, you can right click and then you can share it with a colleague. So it's right now in draft mode. I'm the only one who can see it. And I'm the only one who has the capacity to make any edits. Now, if I want to invite a colleague so that somebody else has the capacity to edit or can view just the published version, then I'm going to come in here and Kelly Brown is going to be my sample teacher and I can click send and then the person that I share this with now has the ability to make adjustments to that website. So this is the process you would use to share it with that other colleague. So let's pretend that the other colleague is now in this space and that uh, other colleague, my other second grade teacher, doesn't know how to go through the publishing process of making that live. So Let's click in here and make some adjustments. So again, this is a sample space where I teach other people how to use things. It's untailored and not really publishable. In here, we have this brand new teacher who just received, received this sample site and they're gonna go through and make some adjustments. Maybe they wanna take the school calendar out. They wanna adjust some websites. That uh, other colleague is going to have to watch some tutorials in order to make those adjustments. It, you don't want it to say the first teacher's name. You would want it to see, say that next teacher. So the next teacher would then put their name in here. And maybe they don't want to call it copy of a sample website anymore. Maybe they want to call it my website that was originated in 2020. Okay, so go in and tweak and make those adjustments. And then when you're ready to share it with people, come up here to this button to see what it would look like on a cell phone or an iPad or someone's computer. And this takes you into the sample view so you can see what it looks like on someone's cell phone. And you can see what it looks like on someone's tablet. You can see what it looks like on somebody else's computer. And then you can get out of this web view uh, or user view. So I'm gonna click out and now I'm back into that main editing space. And then right up here where the person is, that's how we're gonna share it with the world. So click on the silhouette of that small person right there. And we wanna make sure that everyone has the capacity to view it because we wanna share that website out with parents. So click right here where it says change. And then you want 
anyone on the web to be able to view the published version. And then we're going to click Save. And we're going to click Done. And when you're officially ready to publish it, then make sure that you click Publish. So I'm going to click Publish just for the sake of teaching. And now it's going to ask you what you want the end of the URL to say. So the beginning of the URL is based on your organization. And that's not something that you can change. But this end portion after the last slash, then you get to modify that and turn it into whatever you want. No spaces at all. This is a website, so it can't have any spaces. So I'm going to type next teacher just for teaching purposes. And I don't have any error messages. You would have an error message if somebody else already has that name. So if you put first grade at the very end, maybe somebody already has a website that has an ending with first grade. So you might need to add some initials that identify your school. So CH for Copper Hills. Uh, or if you are Riverview, then you would put an RV at the end, or you can put an RV at the front, Riverview next to teacher. You would need to make those adjustments. And then right down here, this is where we officially publish it. So now someone on the internet has the capacity to find your website. Now, in my opinion, the URL that we saw just a second ago was quite long. So up here, down facing triangle, publish settings, right here where it says that editors must review changes before publishing. I'm gonna take that check mark off and then click save. All right, and when it's time for you to publish that website, my recommendation is to come up here where you see the chain link, right where you see that chain link, copy the link. And that little box will disappear the minute you click copy link. Then my recommendation is to come over to bit.ly.com and when you come to bit.ly.com, go through the process of setting up and designing an account for the very first time. And once you've designed your account, come all the way over here into bit.ly and you want to create a shortened URL. And a shortened URL is an easy way for you to share your website with parents. Come into this box, right click one time and then click the paste button. Now the long version of your website appeared in that box. And then in the blink of an eye, then Bitly is going to create a short URL for you. And you can come up here and type next teacher website or whatever you want. So whatever the title is. And in this space right here, go ahead and type in whatever you want into this end space. So let's do next underscore teacher. Okay, if you type something into this space and you try to save it and it's that URL shortener has already been used, it will give you an error message and let you know, nope, that's not going to work. I recommend that you stay away from uppercase and lowercase letters if at all possible, just because absolutely everything that's case sensitive in this space must be typed in perfectly in order for your viewers to see that exactly. Once you've made some adjustments, go ahead and click save. Ooh, error. This one's already been taken. So let's see if I can change that into maybe let's do capital BR. So bud rank next teacher and then click save. All right. So this is an option. Try not to make it excessively long because the whole purpose of this URL shortener is to make it shorter than that original link. Let's copy one time right here by clicking this button and then let's come up here to double check that that works. In this incognito window where I'm pre pretending that I'm a parent um, who is uh, outside of the Clovis Unified community, they don't work for Clovis Unified, I go ahead and put that short URL in there and you can actually take this front part off. It can actually start with just the letter B and that makes it even shorter for parents, which is helpful. Press enter on your keyboard just to make sure that it works and voila. This is another great way to make sure that any videos, PDFs, or other resources that you have placed in here will function properly. Team, thanks so much for coming and have a great day.